Hi, and welcome to M-Level 3's podcast on the Composite Hot Bonder. In addition to wet layup and vacuum bagging, hot bonders are commonly used to provide quality repairs to composite structures at field level. Scroll down to the ground. So hot bonders are capable of simultaneously applying vacuum pressure and heat while monitoring both conditions during a cure cycle. Parameters such as heat duration, ramp up, ramp down, and alarm settings are all able to be configured in the hot bonder. The output side of the hot bonder features a number of connections which must be made before starting a cure. Connect the splitter to this cannon plug and connect a blanket to the splitter. Ensure there is a thermocouple plugged into the master location. The heat blanket power light will flash when electricity is flowing. Insert the large plastic vacuum tube into this fitting and insert the other end into the breather layer. The vacuum sense port is used to monitor vacuum pressures in the bag. Connect the breather layer to this port. Bonders offer multiple locations for thermocouple plugs, which will accommodate several heat blankets and adds to reliability. Resins which require elevated temperatures during the cure cycle will need a heat blanket and temperature sensors called thermocouples placed in the vacuum bag stack up. Any wires for heat blankets or thermocouples will require an airtight seal where they pass through the tacky tape. Thanks for visiting M Level 3's podcast on hot bonders. For more information, check our website or keep coming back here for additional video clips. Bye for now.